Hi, great to see you. I'm Katya. Today's class, we're going to work the whole of our body. So let's do it. Let's begin. Lie down on your backs, on your mats. And we begin by hugging our knees in towards the chest. And just give yourself a really gentle rock side to side. Just allowing yourself mentally, physically to arrive on your mat, in your bodies. And then let go of your legs. Bring your legs into tabletop position. Knees are right over your hips and we'll have the feet more or less in line with your knees. Now the lower back is very, very gently imprinted. So check that you're not arching your lower back. Stretch your arms up towards the sky. Draw the shoulders down, palms facing forwards. We take a nice deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale out through the mouth, we're going to press the arms forwards, not the chin to the chest. Draw the abdominals in nice and flat. Inhale, lower back down, hands straight up to the sky again. Exhale, curling forwards. We begin to wake up our tummy muscles. Inhale, lower back down. And exhale, curl forwards. Now stay here, if at any time your neck starts to hurt, you can either bring one hand behind your head, support it, or just simply rest your head down and then lift it up again when you're ready. From here, inhale, exhale, tap the right toes down, inhale, lift, exhale, left leg tap. Alternating toe taps, we're making sure we really focus on our center, tap, lift, Tap, lift, abdominals nice and flat. Keep that chest reaching forwards. Last two, and tap. Keeping your legs in tabletop position, lower your head all the way down. Sweep your arms around, hands supporting your head now. Inhale, exhale, curl your head and chest forwards again. This time we extend the right leg away, lower down and fold it in. Left leg out and away, lower bring it in continue again we'll do 10 repetitions on the exhale take your leg out inhale fold it in last two and lower your head for a moment down breathe in Breathe out, curl the head and chest forwards again. Now take your right arm and reach your right arm outside of your left leg, diagonally forwards. We're working our obliques now, our diagonal tummy muscles. Inhale, hand behind the head. Exhale, switch. Breathe in, stay curled forwards. We're going from side to side. And reach. Good. Now if you like, you can add toe tap. Breathe in and breathe out, tap. So the leg that stays close to you, that's the leg you're turning your chest towards to. Last two. And then lower your head all the way down. Bring the right foot down to the mat and lower the other foot down to the floor. Well done. Have your feet at least hip distance apart, if not a little bit wider. And just really nice and gentle, drop your knees over towards your right. And just enjoy that release, lengthening across the front of your left hip. And then bring your knees back up and let your knees drop over to the other side. And just breathing here. Make sure your shoulders are still on the ground. And bring your knees all the way back to the center and then rest your arms all the way along beside you. So we still have our feet slightly wider than hip distance. From here, inhaling. As we exhale, we again using our abdominals to draw down. We're going to roll the pelvis slowly up at the same time, reach your arms all the way up and back to the space behind you. Inhaling at the top. 
Exhale, roll down from the top of your back, through the middle of your back, your lower back, your sacrum, your tailbone. Hands come down at the same time. Inhaling. Exhale, roll the hips up again. Reach your arms all the way up and over. Now feel the back of your legs working, feel your glutes working. Inhale here. Exhale, peel all the way back down. Melting the spine back down. One more like so. Inhale. Exhale. Grounding your feet. Good. Just visualize your knees pointing right in line with your toes, reaching out forwards. Inhale. Exhale. Come all the way back down. Releasing slowly down with control. Inhale again. Exhale. Roll the hips back up again. Good. Now this time, as long as your shoulders are comfortable, keep your arms up there. We're going to inhale, lower your pelvis straight down. As you exhale, push your hips straight up and really activate your glutes, your bum muscles. Inhale, tap the pelvis down. Exhale, push your hips up. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Three more. Here's your last one of these. Hold it up there. Good. Squeeze those hips up. Roll slowly down. I feel the difference as you're peeling your spine down and float the arms all the way down. Brilliant. Now just bring your feet in so now they are in line with your hip joints. Inhale. Exhale. Roll the hips back up again. Peeling up. Now we're going to keep our right hip nice and still, pretty much in space. The left hip is going to do a small tiny dip, very slightly relaxing your glutes. And then exhale, push that left hip back up again. Five repetitions on the left side. Let the left hip dip down a little bit. Notice the right hip doesn't move much or hardly. Exhale, squeeze your left hip back up. Inhale, drop the left hip a little bit down. It's a small movement. Exhale, push the hip up. Inhale, left hip lower slightly. Exhale, lift up. One more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Excellent. Now maintain the left side fairly steady. The right hip drops down a little bit and push your right hip up. I'm hoping for you to feel your hamstrings and your glutes. Inhale, right hip down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, right hip down. Exhale, lift. Last two. And squeeze up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze up. Pause here. Take the arms one more time all the way back. We're going to keep the arms reaching back. Roll your spine slowly all the way down. Stretch your right leg away from you. Hug your left knee in towards you. Give your left leg a nice squeeze. Rock the leg a little bit side to side. And then we'll keep the right hand on the left leg. Left arm opens out and we take a really nice twist over towards the right. Let's take a moment here. Just go as far as we're comfortable. You can always rest your left foot against the bottom leg if that happens to be there. One more inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself back to the center. Stretching your leg away. Big stretch with both arms up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Hug your right knee in towards you. Gentle rock it side to side. And then we'll cross our leg over, stretching the right arm out to the side. Again, you can move your right foot away from you or you can rest your right foot on top of the other leg. Choose what works best for your body, for your proportions, so that you can enjoy this twist and be comfortable. Exhale. 
Good. Bring yourself back to the center. Stretch your leg out. Make any adjustments so that you feel nice and straight. And then from here, we take a big stretch with the arms back. Now, either using your hands to help you a little bit to come up, or you can roll yourself all the way up. We're going to bend the knees and just take a really nice release forwards over your legs. Really nice and gentle. Pretty passive. Now, roll yourself slowly up. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Now you can choose if you keep your feet further away or if you bring your feet closer, whichever way is most comfortable. And then feel free as well to sit on a blanket or a block or a cushion. If you find you're a little bit rounded, it will be really beneficial. Okay, we're going to do our spine stretch. Reach your arms out forwards. We'll have the palms facing towards each other. Make sure you draw your shoulders down. Sit up as tall as you can, inhale. Exhale, draw the abdominals back, sense of lifting up and over, reach your fingertips out in front of you, the hair gently nods forwards, and we're stretching forwards, at the same time drawing your abdominals back, inhale here, exhale, roll yourself slowly back up, let your hands come down anywhere on your legs, hold on, and then sit up really tall, and we go into a Gentle extension, lifting the chest up, gaze slightly up. Inhale, sit up straight, reach the arms out forwards. Exhale, reaching forwards over your legs. At the same time, drawing the abdominals back to create opposition. Inhale, reach. Exhale, roll yourself back up. Hands coming down, sit up as straight as you can. Lift up the chest. Inhale, looking straight ahead, arms forwards. Exhale, let's go one more time, reaching forwards, stretch, reach, visualize creating space between your vertebrae, particularly the lower spine, inhale, exhale, rolling up, shoulders down, here are back muscles, our spinal muscles working, looking up, and then come back to a neutral position, brilliant, now bring your arms up and take your hands behind your head. Interlace the fingers. Use your hands to lift and lengthen the back of the skull up. Inhale. Exhale. Turning towards your left side. As far as you can go. Then we'll bring the hands in. Right hand goes to the left leg. Left fingertips on your mat behind you. And now we've got the arms to help us. Just to turn a little bit further. To sit us up a little bit taller. Release, come back to the center, hands behind the head, inhale, exhale, rotate to the other side. Hands down, opposite hand to knee, the other hand behind you, lengthening, just check that your shoulders are down, inhale, come back, exhale, rotate, inhale, hands down, exhale, using your hands to help you. This feels so nice for our backs. Inhale, come back. And exhale, turn. Arms coming down, so take your time. There's no need to rush. You're really getting into that movement. Come back to the center. Stretch your arms all the way up. Bring the arms down and place your hands slightly back behind you. Now plant your feet flat onto the mat. Inhale, exhale. We're going to lift our hips nice and high, pushing the floor away. Try and lift the chest, roll the shoulders down, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings, knees pointing right forwards in line with your toes. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Low your hips slowly down. And now extend your legs out in front of you, just outside of your mat. Flex your feet. If your legs feel a little bit tight, bend your knees. Nothing wrong with bending your knees. Really important you sit up as straight as you can. Open your arms out nice and wide to the side. We're going to go into our soul. Inhale, turn towards your left again first. As you exhale, your right hand is going to slice off 
the little left side toe. Your left arm is going to reach behind you. The thumb is pointing down. Inhale, sit up straight. Exhale, come back to the center. Inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, over your right leg, abdominals pull back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, facing forwards. Inhale, twist to your left. Exhale, right hand to the outside of your left foot. Left arm reaches back. Inhale, lift. And center. One more time to the right. And reach. Sit up straight and center. Let's go one more on each side. Twist and reach. Keep the abdominals firm. Lift and center. And twist and reach. And up and center. Now close your legs. Squeeze your legs together. Bring your hands once more behind your head. Point your toes. Lengthen and lift. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to hinge back with a long flat back. We'll go as far as we can go. Then we're going to try and roll down. Now you can reach your arms forwards to help you from falling down. Then we inhale, stretch the arms over. Exhale, arms up. Lift your head, roll yourself all the way up. Flex your feet and just stretching forwards over your legs. Inhale, roll yourself up. Hands interlace behind your head again. Exhale, beautiful strong abdominals. Draw the belly in. Hinge, hinge, hinge. When you no longer can hinge, curl the tail under. Let the arms reach forwards, rolling down. Big stretch back in here. Exhale, arms, hurt chest. Roll up, stretch over your legs. Inhale, sit up straight, hands behind the head. Exhale, hinging back. Hold it, hold it. Now, if you want an extra challenge, keep your hands behind your head on the way down. Requires a lot more control. Big stretch, arms back in here. Exhale, arms, head, chest. Roll yourself up as smoothly as you can. And forwards we go, stretch. Good, beautiful. One last one to go. Your best one yet. Inhale. Exhale, hinge. And then control the rolling down. Peeling down. Big stretch back. Inhale. Exhale. Arms up. Head, chest. And beautiful stretch forwards. If that feels good for your back, stay a little bit longer. Stretching over your legs. And then roll yourself all the way up. Well done. Come round now onto your hands and knees. And we'll come and do a few planks here. So, placing your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Good. Now we're going to focus for a moment on the extension of our upper back. So starting in a neutral position and a nice long spine, inhale. As you exhale, you're going to elongate, lengthening and lift the chest looking out forwards. Inhale, draw yourself back into your neutral position. Go and do the same again. Exhale, lengthening. Heart forwards, chest forwards, lifting up the chest, gaze forwards. Inhale, come into your neutral position. Feel the abdominals lifting, the ribs closing. Exhale. Here, we still have a little bit of support from our tummy, even though we're going into that extension. And then looking down, let's do one last one. Inhale. And exhale, lengthening. And looking down. Now bring your elbows down to the floor. Position them right under your shoulders. Now your hands, different options. You can clasp your hands. You can make fists. You can even put your hands flat down. My preference for today is to interlace the fingers. From here, step one foot back. Step the other foot back. And we'll come into our four and plank. Now really focusing on lengthening the whole body making use of your legs, engage your thighs, 
Draw the belly in and up. Push the ground away with your elbows, with your feet. Carefully, your head is not hanging down. Your head is part of your spine. One more inhale. You can always put your knees down if you need to, if straight legs is too much. Now from here, either take rest in child's pose or walk your feet in a little bit closer and then pike your bottoms up high into the sky. Look towards your feet. Now the aim is to keep the heads off the floor so you're not resting in onto your head. Keep pushing the floor away with your arms. Keep lifting your hips as much as you can. It's really beautiful strengthening for our shoulders. Now don't worry if your knees are a little bit bent. Excellent. Bring your knees slowly all the way down. Release your toes. Roll yourself all the way up into a high kneeling position. Open your arms out to the side. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, hinging back, straight line from the shoulders to the knees. Inhale, come forwards, open your arms. Exhale, hinging back. Now really think about that tailbone forwards. Inhale. Exhale, visualize that long straight line. Inhale, open. Exhale, lean back. Let's see if we can hold that position and just move the arms. Open the arms, inhale. Exhale, close. One more, open. Exhale, close. Well done. Come all the way forwards, open your arms. Release your hands all the way down to the floor. Stepping one foot back, stepping the other foot back. We're in our straight arm plank now. I'm mindful about not locking into the elbow joints, particularly if your elbows go beyond straight if they hyperextend. Now from here, inhale, exhale, bend your knees, pike your hips up and back, let the head come between the arms looking towards your feet. So a little bit like a downward dog, but I'm bending my knees. From here I'm inhaling. As you exhale, you're going to shoot forwards into your plank. Take the eyes slightly forwards. Let's go again. Lift up the hips. Let's inhale here, pushing back. Exhale, shoot into your plank. Find the position straight away. Inhale, bending the knees, look to the feet. Exhale, forwards. Bend your knees. This time walk your hands all the way back. Making your way all the way over the feet. Releasing your head for a moment. Let the spine hang. Bend your knees. Coming into a squat. Check the knees are in line with the toes. Feet are about hip distance apart. Now reach the arms back, palms facing forwards. Feel your shoulder blades drawing down. Belly is engaged. We feel the upper back muscles working. Hold it here, inhale. Exhale. Sit back into the heels, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Stretch your arms up tall. Exhale, open the arms. Roll all the way forwards and down. Knees can bend or be straight. Walk your hands all the way forwards into your plank. Lengthen the tailbone to the heels. Tummy lifted, ribs lifted. Good. From here, point your right toes five times. Lift the leg up, tap down. Lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, toes down. Make sure your bottom doesn't go up and down, just your leg. Up, tap, left leg, tap, up, tap, up, tap, up, tap. Well done. Pike your hips up. Walk your hands all the way back. Bend your knees as needed. Let the spine hang. Inhale. Exhale, let's come back to that squat. Sit back into the heels. Tummy muscles engaged. Stretch the arms down and back behind you. This time we're going to do 10 mini pulses using our thigh muscles. We go one, two, three, four. Feel those muscles hugging around your bones and joints. 
keeping everything in a good place. Eight, nine, ten. Come all the way up, stretch up, reach, inhale. Exhale, arms down. Down we go, one last time. Rolling forwards. Walk your hands forwards again, all the way to the top of the mat. Good, one more time into your plank. Beautiful, strong plank pose. Now lower your right knee all the way down, right under your hip. Step your right hand a tiny bit forwards in front of your right shoulder. Now swivel onto your right hand, your right knee. We can swivel the right foot back. We'll come into a side plank with our right knee on the floor. Top hand behind your head. Ready now, we're going to lift up our straight leg. Reach it and lift it up as high as you can. Flex your foot, now keep the trunk, the pelvis as still as you can. Inhale, sweep your leg forwards. Exhale, point, take your leg slightly back, no arching. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, back, reach, beautiful straight leg. And take it back, last one. Forwards, bring your leg in line with your body. Take the top hand and place it against your leg. Pulse your leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo. Release your leg down, stretch. We meet in our plank pose, stepping your right leg back. Downward facing dog, give yourself a nice big stretch. Or child's pose. One breath. Now we rock forwards into our plank again. We're going to repeat everything on our second side. Bring your left knee under your hip. Step your left hand, tiny bit forwards of your left shoulder. Swivel onto your left side. Try and push the left hip forwards. Right arm comes up all the way behind the head. Now try and visualize your head as part of your spine so it's not hanging down. Lift up your right leg. Good, let's go. Inhale, sweep your right leg forwards. Exhale, point, take it slightly back without arching your back. Inhale, sweep it forwards. Exhale, reach it back. Two more, inhale, forwards. Exhale, back. Doing really well, keep it up. I know this is hard. Last one, forwards. Bring the leg in line with your body. Have a little look, see that your leg is not behind you, it's right in line with your body. Right hand presses against your leg. We pulse up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, stretch it out. We'll come one last time into our plank pose. Walk your hands all the way back into your hanging forward position. Now this time we have one last squat. We're going to, just before we come up, bring our feet right together. Now bend your knees. Come back up into that squat. This time the only difference is we're squeezing the legs together. Good. Draw those shoulders down. Feel your abdominals drawing in from here. Now this is optional. If you like, you can lift up your feet, your heels, and balance on the balls of the feet. Let's one more time. Ten times pulsing. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is wobbly. Eight, nine, ten. Heels down. Rise all the way up to standing. Stretch up. You can step your feet hip distance apart. Catch your right wrist. Let's stretch up and over. Beautiful side reach. Inhale. Exhale up and over, inhale, release your arms down, soften your knees, inhale, arms up, exhale, bend, inhale, reach, exhale, bend, last one, arms up, and relax your arms all the way down, feel that strong body you have, trust it and use it. Great work, I hope to see you soon. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.